Hey everybody, how's it going? <clears throat> so, this is a follow-up to um, last night's video about the bedsheet. Um, oh crap, I can't remember their name. But I got a comment on my last video suggesting that I take the mattress, pull it this way, climb on, pop those corners in, shimmy out, and get these other two and that worked um, it wasn't easy but it was much easier than trying to fold up one side of the damn mattress to go from one side to the other so that was good um, <clears throat> also today I cleaned everything off the counter cleaned the counter really well um, did some rearranging. There was a bunch of stuff in here that I wasn't using. Like um, Corel dishes and some other stuff. Plates and um, a coffee maker. Stuff like that. I don't use the stove. Because the drain for this sink is its own has its own separate drain line. And, um, I, I'm, it's too embarrassing to show you, but, because it, it's a mess behind me, but, um, the, uh, gray water system for the bathroom is its own separate system. So, uh, and the outlet for this gray water is over here. The bathroom is behind me at the end so um, that wasn't going to work to have another drain set up so basically I have to if I do any dishes it's got to be in the bathroom sink and the bathroom sink is tiny so this what sucks is this faucet is live well I don't want to clean it up so but because of that the sink itself, the basin, wasn't getting used. So I took a bunch of the stuff that was in here, out of here, that I'm not going to use. I put it in the sink. I got to throw a towel over it. And then I made this to fit. This is just half inch MDF. It fits in there really well. In fact, it fits in so well, that's kind of hard to get out. But there it comes out, and there's all the other stuff. So, that's good and well. And the stove, well, I don't have a way to wash pots and pans. Unless I were to take them in the house, or wash them outside, which I'm not going to bother doing that. <clears throat> so, took the grate off the stove. Burners are covered up and cut this piece to fit now is this flush no but this isn't exactly flush to the counter either so but this greatly great and this is almost flush um another eighth of an inch would have been perfect but i was limited on what i could get tomorrow i'm gonna clean these up get the sawdust off of them cover them and contact paper that I bought I mean I may look for a different contact paper that matches this marble looking crap a little better because this is fake um, and then yeah I've got finally counter space before over here there was this thing you can roll out and it's like a metal mesh almost I mean that works but I don't want to drop a knife and have it go down. I don't want to drop uh, crumbs in there. I don't, I don't, no, we don't need that. So, <clears throat> this solves a lot of problems. And today we um, set up a small, 
we set up a small aluminum table and I'll be able to use my, my little electric grill thing on that to cook outside and because there's an outlet outside and uh, yeah that'll be nice because I just started cooking with that thing in here um, then my friend that owns the camper came in and he looked and he's like eh, no it's gonna make a greasy mess everywhere which yeah and that is something I was a bit concerned about but I figured um, it might not be too bad but he's like no no it's gonna be pretty bad and how this thing vents to um, I don't know. Doesn't look like to me events anywhere, but we'll look at that in another. But now I can spread my little appliances out here. Have my coffee stuff and spices there, and uh, actually have like some room to breathe in here. Cause the problem over here was. Um, there's a grate that goes over this, and it's high up, but all the bars in it are spread pretty far apart, and so, like, utensils and other shit just kept falling in here and covering, you know, this surface here, and it was dusty and gross, and I was cleaning it, I was keeping up with it, but... I'd have to take everything off that was stored over here. No, don't have to deal with that anymore. The worst part of it is going to be this and this. But you know what? I can live with that. So now, for tonight, um, I got everything that was here. I put it on. I was here. I put it on the counter uh, on the couch. I gotta put it all back here. Make it neat. Some of it can go in here because I've got room now. And, uh, yeah, then tomorrow I only have to move a little bit of stuff to do one of these boards at a time with the contact paper. And that won't be so bad. Then after that's all done, or maybe tonight, I don't know. I'm pretty tired. Um... <clears throat> Sweep, mop, clean up around the computer, all the junk I've got over there. It's not that it, it's not that I'm being a slob in here. It's just I haven't had room to really put anything. So it ends up just kind of piling and piling and piling and piling. Uh, so now that I've got the room, I can get it organized. And... Also, having everything organized will allow me some freedom to uh, try cooking, be a little more adventurous with uh, cooking stuff. It kind of sucks having to use just the little electric thing, but I tried it out and I, it, it works. I had, um, I made, uh, I've cooked two sausage patties with it, and it doesn't cook everything evenly, but you can tell by the color and just know to rotate it, and it'll work. Fifteen bucks, you can't expect much. So, anyway, that's it for now, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.